guys, good afternoon. I am coming to you today as we are working our way up to that big, big painting that I want to do that's going to be 36 by 36. So today we're going to do a 24 by 24 artist loft canvas. The canvas is all prepped as always on the back. Can only see parts of it. And this is part of what I call my divine series. And I'm gonna show you the paint colors that we're using today. So we are gonna use our Craft Smart Black. We are gonna use our Craft Smart Metallic Gold. And the black will go in the painting and around the painting as a flow extender. And the metallic gold will be what we actually start the painting with. I'm going to use my same colors for my what I call my divine pours. The first one is Deco Art Extreme Sheen Ruby. Then we're going to use Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24 Karat Gold. Deco Art Dazzling Metallic Teal. And I'm adding a new color in this time. And I'm going to use the Deco Art Extreme Sheen Emerald. So all of these colors are metallic. All of them my favorite metallics. I am doing all of these because I have the paints. Um, it has been extremely hard to find metallic paint. It has been extremely hard to find canvases. This is my last 24 by 24 canvas. And the um, I usually get these on sale at either Hobby Lobby or Michael's and there's a lot of price gouging going on right now. Let's just say that. So we're going to pour this 24 by 24 inch painting. It is likely gonna be the only painting I do today because it's gonna to need to sit here for a while and dry before I move it to a shelf. So for a 24 by 24 canvas, I wanna use about 20 ounces of paint, about here. And I may use a hair more, but I don't wanna to use too much more because I'm gonna use my black and my gold around the painting so that that will go over the edges before I actually lose the piece of art. I'm going today to do a dirty cup and a layered cup. So you normally see me do a layered cup in my pores, but I'm going to do a little bit of both in this one. And we're going to see how that turns out as opposed to just doing a layered cup. So I'm going to um, go ahead and start mixing the paints in here. Now I'm gonna start out with my 24 karat gold and that's because it's gonna be the first color in and the first color at the top and that's gonna be what's poured over the gold. This is a much larger measuring cup so I'm just going to fill the bottom and I'm gonna come in next with my emerald green. This one I'm gonna come from up high. So this is what we call a dirty pour where we let it drop and mix with the other colors. And then I'm gonna do my teal again from up high and let it mix in with those paints. I'm gonna do the same with my black. Go from up high. And I'm going to do the same with my ruby. Then I'm going to do some layering. So hopefully we're going to get two distinct um, ways that the paint will come out onto the canvas. So now I'm going to layer some gold. This is the 14 karat metallic. And I'm going to layer the emerald, the teal, the black, some of that dumped to the bottom and that's okay, and the red, and I'm at about 22 ounces right here 
So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more gold. All right, that should be all the paint that I need for this painting, except for my flow extender and my, I call it the pillow. So it looks to me that there's a lot of emerald in here, a lot of gold, a lot of red. So we're gonna see how that pours out. I do record almost every single painting that I do. I have been having some internet issues. And so I haven't been able to get any videos to post to either Facebook or YouTube the last couple of days, but I'm gonna keep trying. So we're gonna start with a pillow of gold right in the middle. Okay, and that's good. And what I didn't do, I wanna check, see how level my canvas is. Right on the money, okay. This is a big painting, so I have to make sure that it's level. So I'm gonna pour it from up high, then I'm gonna pour it from up from low, and then I'm going to turn it. If you notice, I'm just turning the cup. I'm gonna go back up high. I'm gonna turn it this way. You see all these beautiful colors coming out. Go back up high. And we're pouring this pretty fast. I can't see when I turn, so y'all bear with me. And I'm just gonna let it pour right here. Maybe do some little swirls. Some little shakes, get all that paint out. This is a lot of paint, my friends. All right. Oh, that's beautiful. Love, love, love adding the green to this. I'm going to do one quick little circle here to make it a little bit more uh, cohesive. I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit. This is so pretty. Again, I am going to add paint all around here. I wanted it to go down just a little bit more. As when I'm tilting it and manipulating it, I don't want to lose this over the sides. So I'm gonna use this and we call this our flow extender. So we'll start with the black. We're gonna go all the way around and hopefully I have enough black. I do have plenty of gold. And I'm going to use all of this Now, I'm gonna go ahead and add some gold. Again, this is flow extender. So that it's not the first thing that falls off the canvas when I tilt it. Here we go. It's 
sometimes I go ahead and put it in the corners, sometimes I don't. I think it's okay right now that I don't have it exactly in the corners. All right. So, I am going to go ahead and torch this. There is no silicone in this paint. We're going to get cells simply because we are going to stretch the paint. Unless I'm doing like a flip, flip cup or something, I'm not using as much silicone as I used to. I just like the results better without it. All right, I'm also going to move this back a bit and to the side so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm also gonna move the painting more to the middle. I'm gonna move a few things out the way. And we're gonna start to tilt. So let's go just down with it. Lots of circles like a tree ring pour. I did not intend that, it just kind of happened that way. You will notice I'm doing this relatively slow. This will hopefully be a slow pour. All right, I'm just gonna bring it back some. It's, it's a little harder for me to turn this big painting around. So, yeah, and I will try. I just have to be much more careful. Move these paints out of the way. Oh, Lord, my dog was under my feet and I almost tripped. That's all I need, huh? All right, now we're gonna go this way. Again, we are not gonna go fast. And I am gonna let it go to the right some as well. So it maybe hits about the same time on the edge. I really don't wanna lose that part. Okay, so we are gonna stop there and bring it back to the middle. You know, I hate to say that I see the rose and a, I see a rose and a flower, but that may not stay, so we will talk about that later. All right, we're gonna go to my right, your left. I'm loving that I added the emerald green to this. Still a part of my Divine series. I have two series of paintings that I've done so far and call it a series and I'm gonna add a little bit of gold. Let's see, I got some leftover gold right here. I wanna add some more just here so that I don't lose the end of this painting. So sometimes there is a great reason why you wanna put flow extender in the corner. Um, anyway, so Divine, is just my second kind of inspired series because I believe these metallic paints are so divine. And when you do a painting, it's just so outstandingly amazing. So I call it my divine series. I also have my freedom series. And that's when I use lots of reds and blues, colors along those lines. Don't, I'm gonna let it go right up to the end. Okay. All right, and I'm gonna turn it again. And then I'm gonna turn it one more time so I can bring it back. You will see when I do a 36 by 36 or say a four foot by five foot pour, it is a lot of work. There's a lot of work on the body. 
I am getting a different result, which I love because part of the paint is a dirty pour and part of the paint is a layered pour. So you're gonna have different wisps of color here and there and throughout. Need to add some more here All around the edges actually this one we have a lot need to add some more here I don't want to lose some of that paint And I have my push pins on the back, which I hold the painting with. Y'all can see. So my hands kind of stay off of the painting itself. Sorry about the glare. I am a one person camera operator. I cannot move the camera while my hands are filled with paint. Come on, don't, don't. There we go. Okay. I am going to move it again. Turn it. Clean my hands off. All right, so we're gonna do this again. And it is heavy. And I'm going to come back down. Let's see. I'm going to come back this way with it. And I'm hoping you can see, but you probably can't right now. All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn it one more time so you can see what I'm doing. This is really pretty, I'm loving this. All right, we're gonna walk this down that way. I'll bring it towards the middle. And then we're gonna bring it towards the end. My left, your right. I think I'm gonna add some more gold down here. that corner and I want to get it over that end. All right, let me check this. Yeah, I got to get a little more there. Just a hair. Let's see if that did it. Yeah, okay. And we're going to turn it one more time all the way around. So bear with me, again, it's very heavy, and the paint is leaning on this side. So I'm gonna grab it this way, all right, and then I'm gonna turn it again. And I have to grab it the other way. All the paint's on this bottom side, so we're gonna turn it like that. Okay. Now we're gonna walk it down this way. Yeah, it's a little bit harder the more 
paint you have on a painting. So we're just walking it to the left bottom corner, my left, your right. And we're gonna let it stretch. Once it gets to moving, go pick up some more of that paint. You'll see there's some curves coming into play. So want it to move down. The good thing about me recording is I can actually look into the camera and see where that when the painting hits the end and flows over the sides. Because I'm short. So we're gonna put a hair more flow extender right here. Just not getting it to pour right there. Let's go this way. Okay. Now, I want to take a look at it. I love all of this. Love, love. I believe I need to I'm going to mess with my corners and my sides and then I'm going to decide if I'm going to tilt it a little bit I'm gonna turn it again, bring this up. Let's see which where the paint is heaviest. Okay, so the paint is heaviest on this side. So what I might want to do is pour some of it off. I'm just looking at it. I like this. I'm not crazy about this. Let's see if I can stretch it opposite. So I'm gonna turn this again. I have to grab it this way because it's heaviest on this side. Turn it. Okay, let's move some of the paint. Let's move some of the paint opposite. So this is the result of a dirty pour and a layered pour. 
think I would still like to pour some of this off. So I'm gonna turn it back this way. Let me get some paint here. See what I can do. Bring that off. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, not so much. Okay. Yes. Now I love it. Just taking some of that gold off the bottom helps so much. All right, awesome. I have some parts that are not cooperating on this side. Some paint. Let's see how that does. Well, I think that finishes this one. I am going to move it down just a hair so that I can torch it and clean up the sides. So this is absolutely divine. The green and the gold in this mesh together beautifully. The green and the blue mesh together beautifully. This is the only painting I do today. It was certainly worth it. This side is not cooperating. Get a little bit of gold here. Get a stir stick. We always have to fix the ends, the corners. So let's see what I can do here to fix that. I need a little bit more green. Just make it a little darker. That's good. We'll torch it in just a second. There is no silicone in this paint, zero. So if you see cells, which are the little round circles, it is because we have stretched out the paint. It is not because we have added any silicone to it. So, I'm Janie of J. Briscoe Art, and there went the camera, and if you like my work, please follow me at Facebook, and Instagram, and YouTube. I'm on all three, trying to get some videos up, and let me take you in, let me torch first, pull it out just a hair. So you can see it's so shiny. Let's see what happens if I do this. No, you still see the glare. Okay, so let's torch. And this is a big 
Pretty, huh? Pretty all the way around. One divine painting. Thanks for watching y'all. I appreciate y'all as my friends and my fans. And we're gonna keep on painting. Go out and make it a great day. See you soon.